Oh, well, this is another video on the awful truth about college. The weird people you meet in college. Classes and everything also throughout your life. That's mainly people, weird people you meet in colleges. I came up with the idea of this video actually in a dream. I actually dreamt that I did this video. Don't know why it was kind of weird. It's alright. Now, weird people you meet in college. First off, if you live in the dorms, you'll meet some strange, strange people. That's probably one of the places you meet the weirdest people. I lived in the dorms. We had this one guy. Was during the summer classes, he had little bags of stuff throughout his dorms. <laughs> now I remember that a lot of people thought they were body parts because he was weird. One time he was on the phone, yelling, calling somebody a bitch and all this stuff. You know, yelling and screaming and slamming, and his phone down and walks out, comes back. And of course, I was went in the kitchen to cook something. Brought was bringing. I went to the kitchen to bring my food back because that had already been done. And I came back, the door's locked. The door to get into the, you know, his room is here, my room is here. And then you have this common area to get to both of our rooms. I mean, the bastards locked the door. He saw me leave just a second later. I mean, you will meet idiots, weirdos like that. And then another weirdo, when I had to move into that particular dorm, I called him up to finally know when he's going to move out. His response is, well, my provider has to tell me no. You're supposed to tell him. Now, that's not, now, I know what you're thinking. That's not too weird. No, well, we're going to get there. We had this overweight guy. You'll probably get someone like him. You know, oh, he used to tell us, well, my weight is not bothering me. But this guy, you know, would rather hang out with, I don't know, he, he, he would take pots of food and pour it down the toilet. Not the sink, not the trash, down the toilet. Okay, you flush it and then it overflows. Now they gotta take a shower and flush the whole dorm. <laughs> we had an apartment style dorm in this area. And the drunk guy constantly bugging everybody. He's drunk and he's banging on your door. Hey, let's go and see so and so. Let's go see. Like, you're drunk as hell. I don't get ripped on a tree for you or a light pole. I mean, the guy used to do drugs too. Well, not drugs, but you know what I mean smoke marijuana and then try to invite people in. Yeah, I mean, that guy was weird. Then you have the one, another type of guy, which a lot of you, if you're a guy, you're going to deal with this type of guy. Sleeps with a bunch of women. This guy slept with 20, had sex with 26 females. He used to say he felt like such a whore doing that. Now, you may say, it's not a big deal. And that in itself, I agree with you. But the thing is, though, one day he and a couple of his friends brought home some, a couple of females, two females that were drunk and high. Now, if you know what's going on today, this is the early 90s, this is the early to mid 90s, but if you know what's going on today, females are pretty much having fun accusing guys of sexual assault. They have sex with a guy, later on change their mind about it, or their friends or their father or somebody finds about it and they change their mind and accuse the guy of sexual assault. I'm not saying that each time it's false. Sometimes Ames, I do believe it's real. But most of the time it seems, because if the police are not taking it seriously, then obviously they didn't see a crime committed. But we had a little had a little meeting with him the next morning about that. You will deal with those type of weirdos. You'll have teachers get the hell out of my office. Get the hell out of this office. I mean, I mean, see, the thing is about this video is not always the crazy weird people. It's just the type of people you will deal with. You'll have the guy that hasn't showered in weeks wants to sit right next to you. And I remember one time I was walking. It was late at night. I was walking around the campus. I like to jog and walk around sometimes because I live in dorms, unfortunately. Watch my vo video, avoid the dorms, please. But anyways, I, you know, you walk around. And also watch my video about why you should keep your, all your documents. Please, it will help you out. But you don't walk around the dorms and go into the business, the building, the business building. Anyway, this one girl's walking out. I'm walking, and she's like staring at me. And as I walk, come back, I see her. She's looking back every five seconds. Well, she's like, what the hell's going on? Normally when people do stuff like that, I, you know, kind of give them a little message, you know, like that and stuff. But her, I just stood there and just stared at her like that. Now, thinking about it later, I realized she's probably doing it because she was probably scared instead of being just stupid. But the thing is, looking back like that, she's kind of inviting trouble. Not saying it was her fault or anything, but you know. You'll meet people like that, females like that. They get very, they're always nervous. I don't know why. And when you get a job, be, guys, be very, very, very careful when you're at work, okay? Please be careful. 
just because they tell you you look nice, you nice shirt, nice hair, they call you baby, darling, honey, sweetie, and ask you if you have a girlfriend, doesn't mean you can say any of the same stuff to them. They will march to the HR office and try to get you fired. I've seen it. I've been a victim of it. I didn't get fired, thankfully. I didn't even get written up. But, you know, you will deal with that crap. You will deal with that if you're a guy. Weird stuff you deal with. Weird people on the job. You know, the lady or the guy that just has these weird freaking beliefs, you know. I'm not going to get into all those beliefs. I'll make a video about weird beliefs later. You know, let's see, what else do you deal with? Weird people. I mean, some of you guys know. You get the person on campus that likes to preach. The preacher on campus, you know. Wants to tell everybody, you're all going to hell, you're going to hell. Picks women out wearing short skirts. You're, you're a whore, you're a whore. Like women aren't allowed to dress the way they want. A woman can dress the way she chooses. It's nobody's freaking business to tell a woman how to dress. Any more than tell a man how to dress. I mean, give up on that crap, okay? Anyways, this guy would do all the scripting. A lot of times people would be yelling and screaming at him, you know. I just walked by him and just kind of laughed at him and ignored him. Yeah, that's all you really can do. The guy's name was Rudy. don't remember his last name. It was hilarious. You will get those type of people. Preachy type. Not on every college campus, but you will deal with those preachy types. They actually think they're going to convince people. <laughs> they don't believe in their stuff. They go, that it's true. I don't know how. They have no real evidence. And you know, you'll have the Muslim Student Union, a Black Student Union, you'll have Asian Student Union, Hispanic Student Union, but you won't see a White Student Union or any of that stuff. Anything for whites or males is forbidden on campus. Colleges now are all liberal pretty much. They chased all, off all the conservatives decades ago. So it's all liberal. So all you're going to get when you're in college is the liberal viewpoint. So if you're smart, a smart person will try to learn other viewpoints. I've made a video recently, you know, let's see if I can remember the, um, the title of it, Mein Kampf, Hitler and Social Justice Warriors and the Political Nonsense Stuff. Watch that video. i tell you why it's important to try to learn other viewpoints. But if you're in college, those are the people you're going to deal with are people that are myoptic. They only believe, they only have their own ideology they think is right. And they want to force it on you. They have no concept, no idea what other people believe or think. And they don't care either. You will deal with that on campus, college campuses. You'll deal with the party. Partier loves the party. Every day, party, 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 party. Keep you up at night. He or she ain't going to care. Most likely it's going to be a he. But he ain't going to care. Trust me. And when they bring a woman over... Even if they try to get her to not make so much noise, she's going to say, F them, I make all the noise I want. Trust me, you'll hear that. Then, of course, you get that drunk that pees on the floor, pees in the sink. <laughs> I mean, you won't believe some of the wackos I dealt with when I was in a uh, University of South Florida. I mean, they were freaks, some of them. I'm not talking about freaks as in, you know, uh, you know certain other ways. I'm talking about freaks in their behavior, being peeing on the floor and stuff like that, you know. Being a freaking drunk, 36 years old, living in the dorms. I mean, what the hell are you living in the dorms and in graduate school and dumb as hell? And this is the University of South Florida that this idiot was in. And, of course, another thing you deal with in college, even if you complain about your any of them, nothing will be done. Nothing. You deal, I mean, the weirdos you're going to deal with. I mean, people will tell you some of the wackos you deal with. The know-it-alls in your classes. I mean, they're not going to be the wackos. But you're going to deal with some know-it-alls. They know everything. And your professors, some of them, not all of them, but some of your professors are going to be rude as hell and have no interest in educating you. They just want that money, and they make good money. No matter what they say, college professors make good money. I've worked at colleges before. Trust me. They make money. And they pretty much crap on anybody else. Not all of them, but you know, but they all do make good money. I mean, I, I could probably go on forever, you know, about how weird people you go to meet. I mean, I just it's, sometimes it's difficult to think of all of them, even if you have it written down and all that stuff, you know. All of, you know, like at work, college, you know. Of course, let's go ahead to apartments. You know, some of these apartments, you know, are like ghettos. You want to have the jackass that like, just like in New Dorms, that likes to blast their radio, their music, when you need to sleep because you have to work. You'll deal with those idiots. They hear smoke right in front of your room. Or they talk right in front of your building, right in front of your apartment, 
and here's your window. You can hear them. You go get something off your table. They see your shadow. They think you're listening to them. It's like, idiot. Just stand in front of your door if you're so afraid someone will listen to your conversation. Why not have your conversation in your apartment instead of outside? And why not have it in front of you, your apartment instead of mine? And besides, I don't have to stand at the window to listen to them. I can hear them throughout my apartment. They're loud enough. Or they go in their car and blast their music. I mean, wow. Weird. Still, the people I've met in the dorms were far, 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 far worse. But still, the music, they, what is it about people and wanting to blast their music? You will deal with those. Those are the most, one of the more popular idiots you'll deal with is the music blaster. Either they're in their car next to you, or they're going to be in the apartment, dorms, whatever. They have to blast their music, and it's always garbage. Almost always garbage. They can be white. Black, Hispanic, I've never seen an Asian do it, and male. I've never seen a female blast their music. I've never seen a female, a woman blast music. Ever. Only men have I seen do it. And it's annoying. Why in the hell do men have to blast their music is beyond me. <laughs> but those are the whack jobs, the weird people. Some of the people you go to meet in colleges and in life. You go to meet some weird, weird, weird people. And yeah, I'm one of them. You can point that out in the comments if you wish. And also, you know, there's a video there. You can go get a, a book, ebook from Barnes and Nobles. You know, I mean, I'm not telling you you have to do it. It's, it's called The Awful Truth About College. I read it. It's actually a good book. Yeah, Barnes and Nobles, The Awful Truth About College. I don't remember who wrote it. Michael No Exists or something like that, whatever. But anyway, it's called The Awful Truth About College. But you got to be a lot of weirdos. Feel free to like, subscribe, watch my other videos. Feel free to leave a comment. Thanks.